on to Cool Golf Club, back in the Indoor Academy. My name is Leon Warren, the head professional. I'm here today to talk about a taboo subject, uh, shanking. Not a great word to use in golf with anybody, um, but a lot of people over, the, over their sort of golfing career have suffered with it at one time or another. Uh, good golfers, uh, even some of the best players in the world would struggle with it. So I'm here to discuss today how you can sort of solve a shank and also um, some drills and exercises to sort of practice to encourage you to sort of get out of these faults. A lot of people don't realise this, but there are three types of shank. Um, I tend to find that the most common one when we're teaching golfers is the one that you get pretty much inside the holes of the club, just here inside the heel. And the ball tends to sort of screw it off to the right at about a 45 degree angle. Uh, the other type of shank you can get, which a lot of golfers don't realise, is one that you hit right in the middle of the hosel. Well, I get this quite often with people that we're teaching, they think it's a top shot, but it's actually a shank because when you hit the middle of that hosel ball, it just tends to look like you've topped the golf ball. Not a great shot, uh, it looks like you've topped it, but in fact it's a shank. And the other one is a pull shank, we call it, where it hits on the other side of the hosel of the golf club, and that would sort of, as a right handed golfer, would go straight to your left hand side, pull, pull top almost. And again, not a great shot to have. And the most common we tend to find is when we get golfers hitting inside that hosel or when they hit full on into the middle of the hosel. So how can we how can we solve this particular problem? Because there's so many variables with the shank, there's so many different ways that it can happen. And I'm not going to go through all of them today because it could be all day, but the most common ones I tend to find is when club golfers tend to get the golf club uh, out away from themselves quite quickly on the downswing. That tends to promote a, the club travelling away from their body and it all sort of uh, outside the golf ball. So that really promotes a, a hose and strike there. There are some good drills to get rid of that. I mean, one of the other faults I tend to find is uh, uh, the weight situation. We, golfers tend to get their weight onto their toes. So either through poor posture or by swinging the club further away from themselves, tends to push their weight more onto their toes. And that would certainly encourage it to happen. We tend to find a lot of golfers after they hit the golf shot will sort of step forward after they hit it because their weight is so much on the balls of their feet. So weight can also be a situation either through a dress position or on that down swing of shifting weight onto the toes. So you really need to try and resolve those particular faults if you can when you're down swing. And a good lesson will help with sort of determining whether that's your fault or not. But two great drills and exercises I've used with lessons in the past and have really worked successfully. I'm just going to demonstrate today for you. And the first one is the two ball drill. And what we do is you set up two golf balls, uh, about a ball apart, as you can see on the map here, roughly about a ball apart from each other. And what we're going to do is address the outer ball. And what you're going to intend them to do then is make a golf swing and on the way down, you're then going to try and hit the ball that's closest to you. What this encourages is for you to kind of really root your downswing, get the club coming back towards your right thigh, closer to your body, rather than the club being thrown out away from you. So it really gives you a focus on what you're trying to do. It puts a little bit of pressure on the situation, but it really helps get a feel and an instant come back to what you're going to try and achieve. So I've set the two balls up. I'm going to demonstrate this for you. I'm going to address the outer one, and make my back swing. And then all the way down, I'm going to feel like I'm getting the club almost kind of brushing my right thigh. I don't want the club to come away from me because I've missed the golf ball, but I'm going to try and get this club back in close to my right thigh. It will feel a little bit different, a bit awkward, but one thing it will encourage is you to get that strike out a little bit more central, a little bit more off the toe of the club. Though that's not perfect, it will really get rid of that horrible shot, that, that shank really creates that horrible shot to the right. So here we go. Address the outer ball. On the way down, I'm going to feel like that club is getting a little closer to my right thigh. The shaft is getting closer to my right thigh, and I'm going to hit that inner golf ball. Just do it nice and smooth with a few little swings to start with, and then try building onto some fuller shots. I'll start with a shorter swing for you, just to give you an idea. So I'm going to address the outer one and hit the inner one. So nice, short little swing. And there we go. I thought I kind of struck that pretty good. So that's a great little drill to start with. You can do this out in the practice area, or you can even try this out in the backyard with some air bubbles. Uh, another good drill, I've sort of used this all my career, really, when I'm giving lessons, is the shoebox. Shoebox is great because it's cardboard, there's nothing in there. 
place that down parallel to your target line. And we want the golf ball to be, roughly speaking, about a fingertip, um, oh, oh, the club head, sorry, about a fingertip away from the, the shoe box. So we don't want to be too close to it, but enough just to get the toe of the club, just to have about a finger away from the box. That's about right. And the ball's right in the front of the box. And once again, with this kind of drill, this is good for swing path also. Again, a lot of golfers will throw the club outside, away from their body, hands and arms away from their body, and that's when uh, you might end up hitting the box. The good thing is it won't do any damage. You might just occasionally sh shame you when you, when you make a mistake. But it's a great way of doing this out in the back garden. Um, something that you can do slowly with again with some short swings. So just address the ball again here. I'm going to really focus on getting the club back close to this right thigh on the way down so I can avoid the box. What I don't want to do is to throw that club out because I end up hitting it. So just start off with some little shots. Go. Again. Start off with some nice and easy ones. So you're just getting a feel of that downswing changing. Nice and smooth. Avoiding hitting that box. You might find you get a couple of toe strikes here. But like I said, as you get practicing on this, you'll start to get a, a good swing path developing. I'll just do one more for you. Short little swing. And again, we're trying to avoid hitting the box. Like anything in this sort of scenario, you need to practice. You need to put some time into it. Um, it's something you can do quite simply in the house or in the back garden. Like I said, there's many variables to a shank, so this is just a couple of drills to kind of hopefully help out one of you to the, your problems. If you're not too sure what's causing your shank in the first place, get a lesson. Um, PGA Professional will help you and they'll really give you some good advice and a couple of good exercises or drills to work on. Hope that's been informative and uh, please sign up and subscribe to our YouTube page which we just started today. Um, you can find it at Leon Warren PGA Professional. Just put a thumbs up on the box and free to subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next time.